For years, Enchanted Circle Theater in Holyoke has been working with school systems to integrate arts into the lesson plan. There's a new program they've introduced at Metcalf School in Holyoke this year. It's called a Dual Language Arts Integration Program, and it weaves in music, dance, and storytelling into everyday lessons. Carolee McGrath sat down with representatives from Enchanted Circle Theater to learn more. Well, Enchanted Circle specializes in arts integration, and so we really act as arts partners working with schools, community organizations, social service agencies. Right now at Metcalf School, we are bringing our arts integrated learning into the classroom directly with teachers and students in a dual language program. ¿Qué decimos ahora? Buenos días. Hacemos con mi primero y después. So we use theater arts, theater, dance, music, literary arts, visual arts, media arts to liven up learning to engage students, to compel them to get involved, actively involved in whatever they're studying. And this is every Friday? That every Friday in is Enchanted Circle Day, okay. absolutely, throughout the year, September through June. So they must be excited, especially, everyone's always excited for Friday, right? <laughs> they seem to be. Yeah, and then you guys and are kisses. coming in. <laughs> so tell us, Gabriella, a little bit about um, what you do in the classroom. I know you're in a few different grades, but let's say first grade, for example, what do you do when you walk in? So I walk in and we're to get them just kind of, while well, they're, they're still eating some breakfast, so we have a little video that they're singing with it. Um, then I do our chimes and then we get into a tadasana, into a yoga pose um, to just kind of settle. Mesas, mesas, y hacemos gato primero. Gato. Meow y moo. We sign language, um, buenos dias, señora Gabriela. Um, and then we go into what we're going to be doing. And so I bring my puppet who speaks Spanish as well. Ya sé, pero era como una hora juntos. Ya sé, se va, el, el tiempo se va, ¿verdad? Sí, cuando estás en la línea, vamos a ver quién puede hacer en la línea. And Gus explains what they're going to be doing for the day. And so um, right now we're currently doing animal classification. We're doing, we're working with animal puppets. And so he'll explain what, what's gonna be happening and then we get into the projects at hand. And it's either, so we start with a, our puppet making and now we're gonna be writing a little bit about and, and doing their environments as well. And, and it's so, all in Spanish. It's all in Spanish, yes. And, and so, so we have to. Does every kid in the class speak Spanish? Yes. And, so everybody does. And okay. then if it's not, we have um, which uh, the first grade teacher cambiar el canal, so change the channel. So we tell them if they're speaking English, cambiar el canal, and so they're just to get them to like, oh right, I'm in Spanish class because they are learning in both languages when they go to the other class that's in English. Fairy fingers to the top of our head. Fairy fingers down our forehead, over our eyebrows, our temples, that space next to our eye eyebrows, our ears. So Metcalf School is one of two schools in Holyoke that is a dual language program. And so throughout the day, the students are learning half in Spanish and half in English. And it's really a 50-50 mix. Completely. Completely. So it's like a, it's an immersion program. It's complete immersion, as, as right. Well. And it's the easiest, and we know like that's the way that you can get the language so that's completely and you know, even Gus says, you know, cambiar el canal, you know, just to remind the children just to like, you're, you're in Spanish class. And a lot of, and some children, that's their, their first languages. Right. So, and some children, most children, their English is their first language. But it's really interesting to see how they work together and help one another when one is speaking English and then we'll have another person kind of translate. So they really help each other to, to build their, to build so their knowledge. So there are some kids who are better Spanish speakers, obviously, yes, than, than yes. others. So this, I mean, by the time they get to high school, right, my son's taking Spanish four and oh my gosh, I mean, it would have been great. Um, but yeah. that, that's, that's another segment for another day. And we learn from them too, because sometimes grammar, you know, it's, you yes. know, I'm conversational, yes, very fluent, but like grammar, it's like, it's a very different ball of wax. And Absolutely. English is hard for me too sometimes, but, Absolutely. and they're great to help out with that. And yes. Fundamentals, are getting the fundamentals at the beginning now, that starting out, this is how we're starting, and you're getting both the English and the Spanish. Right. So you're building upon all of that. So by the time that you get into somewhere else, that's, I, Spanish was my first. It has helped me out with my English, so mm -hmm. I'm learning as I go, 
and I'm learning with the students. It's fun and the students are showing me things that I didn't know about myself. So let's talk about what you do in the classroom. Your, um, I guess, style is going to be different than Gabriella's style, yeah, right? I'm more of a performance-based uh, theater art, uh, teaching artist. So a lot of the work that I do with the students are involve, uh, involve us getting up and working with our bodies. And we're going to do Ah, oh, está malo. Vamos a rotarlo. Uno, dos, tres. Se fue el otro pie. Uno, dos, tres. Se fue la mano. They have been dancing. They have been singing. They have been jumping around. Uh, I mean, we all love that. It's, yes. it's creating both the arts and education to one explosion of magic. So when you talk about kindergarten, because I have a kindergartner right now, so there's a, there's a whole different range, right? Like he, he has like morning meeting, and then you do sight words, and then mm -hmm. you do, you know, mm -hmm. she, like a, a thousand different ways. How do you work that in and keep their attention with so, what you're doing? Yeah, you know, it's all about taking parts of it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do one thing for a long time because no. the attention span is really quickly. So the my day kind of starts off with reading what we will, will we be mm -hmm. doing today. So we start out and I actually have the students read it themselves so we're, they're reading in Spanish mm -hmm. for each other. So you're creating all this public speaking, you're creating this uh, sense of direction and a sense of leadership. <laughs> then we re go into our warm-up we do science in our warm up so they're like creating trees out of themselves that are chewing gum that we don't have. Then we go into games. I think theater games are so important because you're not just sitting down, you're doing things. So we're playing all these theater games that are involved with the vocabulary. Then we read a book and then we create something out of the book. This sounds fun for me. <laughs> yes. Yes. I wish we had this when I was little, but, but how does this work with their actual learning? Because of course you're going to have uh, naysayers who say, come on, let's just stick to the math and the English. We have MCAS, there's MCAS this week, I think, you know, for a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. So how, how does arts really enhance the learning process? So it teaches to the whole child, mm -hmm. right? So if you are acting out vocabulary, if you are showing the difference between in between and near, or near and far. By acting it out, you're, you're, it's in your muscle memory, mm -hmm. it's in your visual memory, mm -hmm. you're, <clears throat> you're problem solving at all times. We have students sometimes acting out what an isosceles triangle is, and then they know what an acute angle is. They know what an obtuse angle is. Now I'm trying to go back. See, maybe if I <laughs> acted it out, I could <laughs> so A parallelogram. <laughs> with four arms, okay. right? A parallelogram. <laughs> Yeah. has two right. parallel sides, and then the other side. Right. And then the other side. So if I'm and this way, yeah. mm -hmm. well, let's do it with our fingers. Oh. By doing that, we've just collaborated on solving a problem. We have. Right? I didn't really help you, though. You solved the problem. I just stood well, there. But that does, I really do think, you know, as a, as a mother, I mean, I think it, it does kind of drill it in a little bit more and make it a little bit more exciting. So um, tell us, this goes through the end of the year? We started in September, we end in May, in June, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it's a year-long immersion. And at the school, they're really pioneering this dual language, and so they're du pioneering dual language in an arts-integrated way. Um, this is a partnership that we've been working with Metcalf School for at least three years. Mm -hmm. um, Amy Burke, who's the principal, I was a teaching artist in her classroom when she was a first grade teacher many years ago. So there's there's a long history here. So there's a very a lot of exciting things anyway happening at this school in particular. I'm going to go home and act out an isosceles yeah. triangle, <laughs> but this is great. I mean, I think what you guys bring is a lot of energy, which is uh, which is very exciting. And, and you must be exhausted by the end of the day in kindergarten. I love Thank it. You. I love it's, it all the time. Yeah. The love of the kids. Oh. I think that that's what helps drive it anything. stimulates you. I go into the schools and I have kids surrounding me like mm -hmm. this all around, mm -hmm. giving me hugs and telling me how much they love us because they really, they truthfully love what we do. Viento. El tronco no se mueve. El tronco. Ah, que bien. Something happens when you nurture creativity, right? And there's this sense of, students go from I can't to I can all the time. And you're building up creative fluency and critical thinking that will then transfer into every other aspect of learning. Well, Priscilla, Gabriella, and Axel, thank you so much for coming in today. This is fantastic, and uh, thank you for all uh, that you're doing. Thank, thank you. you.